Hi, I'm Nikki Collins and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about why I practice mindfulness and why I believe it changed my life. I'll tell you a little bit about myself first. I currently run a company called Max Mind Power. It is a product, a physical product that teaches children how to meditate. But meditation wasn't always such a huge part of my life. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was actually working as a horse dealer. And up until then, riding was intrinsic as to who I was. It was all I wanted to do. When I was 19, I was actually involved in a hit and run with a drunk driver and I got quite a bad head and neck injury. And subsequently to that, I became quite disabled and actually horrendously mentally ill. I had PTSD, I had chronic anxiety, I had panic disorder, and I had a generalized and quite bad depression. And uh, to say that it changed my life was an understatement. I had chronic pain, uh, which was extremely debilitating, and it left me with very little physical mobility. I was taking painkillers constantly and I found it difficult just, get out of, just to get out of bed in the morning. And I was, it made me so anxious that I thought that I was going to die because this pain had to exist for some kind of reason. Fast forward a few years, I eventually found a doctor who could help me, but all he could do was prescribe painkillers and antidepressant medication, which of course I reacted to both. So that made things even worse. I was told I had a one in 1000 chance of becoming 30% better in the next 10 years, which meant that I would live with extreme disability and physical impairment. At this point, I was being helped to do most tasks uh, from dressing, I was being helped go to the toilet. I had very little independence and physical ability and it was incredibly demoralizing and socially restrictive as well. So I felt quite isolated to top it all off. So one thing that my new psychiatrist suggested to help me combat depression and learn to live with how I was going to have to live for the foreseeable future, which was the rest of my life, was mindfulness. So I found a Breathworks practitioner who changed my life. To say that she made a difference would be an understatement. I was, of course, skeptical at the beginning. I thought, how could mindfulness help me? It's just breathing. This can't do anything. However, it changed everything for me and incredibly quickly. I started riding again. I was not in pain and my depression and anxious symptoms actually disappeared. I, I, I'm speaking from experience. I know that this sounds completely insane, but my doctors were baffled. It changed my life and it changed the course of my life completely because at that point I realized that how we think about things has a huge impact on our physical and mental capacity to do things. That we have a choice in everything that we feel and say and do and think. We have a choice over everything. And that starts with awareness, which comes from mindfulness. And a simple practice such as focusing on your breath can change the course of everything you do. It's changed the course of everything I've done since then. I thought that after that, I would have wanted to go back riding horses, but I didn't. I studied psychology and I dedicated my life to teaching other people about the benefits of a simple mindfulness practice. Well, I do that for children. But all I'm saying is that mindfulness, very, very simply, can change and impact everything you do. The best part about all of this is that mindfulness is a really simple practice to do. A lot of the time I read and hear people saying that it's quite difficult. Uh, as a hypnotist, I can tell you right now that that's a bad post-hypnotic suggestion. I like to keep things simple. When I'm practicing 
and I notice that my mind has drifted off. Instead of berating myself and telling myself how bad I am at this and how difficult it is, I would much rather tell myself how good I'm getting at mindfulness because I've just realized that my mind has drifted off. And I feel like that's the key. I find mindfulness, to be honest, to be absolutely life-changing. And I hope that you do too.